All right, let's start with a nice easy march. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Try to tuck your chin back slightly and breathe evenly. We're gonna take this into a shrug. So let your arms hang down and then keep the march going. Pull up, press down, pull up, press down. So you're pulling the shoulder blades up toward the ears and pressing the clavicle down toward the floor. Two more, one left, overhead or reach. So let's take it up nice and high, stretching through those arms and the back of the shoulder blades, breathing through it. So today we're gonna to be doing a Tabata style workout, which means we're going to be doing 20 seconds of a move followed by 20 seconds of a different move. However, the two moves are going to be similar in nature, similar in muscle group. Let's take it into hamstring curls. So there's gonna be a 10 second rest in between for a little bit of recovery. And you're going to need that recovery because it'll be a double round. So for example, jump squats and pull squats in the same round, four sets of each. That's it, breathing through it. Two more and bodyweight squats. Warming up in that squat, pressing the heels back. Keep the chest lifted. Don't worry too much about the depth of your squat at this time. Just try to drive your hips back and get a little bit lower every rep. That's it, two more. Two, one. Let's go side to side lunges. Nice wide stance. We're gonna lunge down over to the right side, over to the left side. Lifting the heel, pushing the hips back. Try to push the chest out and break through the core. Two more here. Two, one. Let's take it to some hip circles, feet shoulder width apart, hands on the hips, right leg in the circle for six. Five, four, opening up that hip flexor. Three, two, over to the other leg. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. So first round, combo of two moves. We're going to be doing a jump squat or squat with a calf raise. So you can either squat to a small hop or squat with a heel raise at the top. In between, we're gonna go down nice and low, pull squats. Now, that's eight total sets of squats. If at any point you need a break, take it to a march or high knees to shake it out. All right, let's do it. So jump squats or squatting calf raises. I'm gonna go with the low impact version, squatting calf raises. Two, one, here we go. Squat, calf raise it up or hop it up. That's it. Try to drive your hips back. Get nice and low in the squat and propel up using those quads. That's it, nice and low. Five more seconds, three, two, one. And we've got a 10 second rest here and I would advise that you take it because we've got pulse squats next. Nice wide stance with the toes flared, semi-squatting, shoulders back. Let's go, 20 seconds here. Sitting nice and low in that squat, drive the hips back and press your heels into the floor. And as I mentioned, this is a lot of squats in a row. So if at any point you're tiring out, your quads or hips need a break, come up to standing, do some high knees or march. All right, 10 second rest. Jump squats or squatting calf raise. Feet shoulder width apart or just slightly wider, toes slightly flared. Ready? Here we go. Squat, calf raise or hop. That's it. Try to propel up. I like to use my arms to help me propel, but do whatever you need to with your arms for balance. That's it, let that hurry climb. Breathe through it, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Ooh, all right, shake out the legs. We're going back to our pulse squats, but remember we've got that 10 second break in between. Wide stance, shoulders back, semi-squatting. Let's go, squat it out. Nice and low here. Press through those heels. Chest is out, back is flat. Try to keep your neck in a neutral position. So eyes are slightly gazing down toward the floor. 
Press those heels into the floor. Three, two, one. Whew. 10 second rest. We're going back to the jump squat or the heel rate squat. Feet just slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Get ready. Let's go. Squat, heel raise, or hop. That's it. And this round should be pretty challenging. As I mentioned, it is eight squats in a row. So do what you need to do to rest in between or take an active rest. That's it. Two, one, 10 second breather. Back to pulse squats. Third set of pulse squats here. Shoulders back, soft knee bend, slightly squatting. Let's do it. Nice and low here. Breathe. That's it. Press through those heels. Try to maintain proper form here. Shoulders back. Stay low. Eight more seconds. I know those quads are burning, but you can do this. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. One more jump squat or squatting calf raise. Slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. Nice and low in that squat. Propel up through those quads. Just one more of each. One more set of pulse squats after this. You're almost there. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. 10 second breather. One last set of pulse squats to go. Wide stance, toes flares, shoulders back. Get ready to go semi squat. Here we go. Squat it out. Last 20, I promise. <laughs> you can do it. Stay low, stay low. Challenge yourself to get through this set. I know those quads are fatiguing, but you can do it. There's just six seconds to go. Stay low. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, shake it out. You can see why we need that 10 second rest in between. Grab some water, catch a breather, let your heart rate come down a little bit. So up next, we're gonna take this into a Y. So our next few moves are gonna be shoulder based. So in the first one, we're gonna start with the palms facing out, thumbs up, just slightly wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna drive the arms up and back, straight overhead. In between, we're gonna fold forward and drive the shoulders up and back. So wise and straight arm pulls. Let's do it. Ooh, all right, feet shoulder width apart, standing position, thumbs up, chest lifted, tuck the chin back. Let's go into that Y, Y. As you pull back in the Y, try to keep your chin in a steady position. There's always gonna be that urge to kind of let your chin come forward, but I want you to gently push the range of motion through the shoulders keeping your head as steady as you can. That's it. Rest, Whew. 10 second break. Now, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna fold forward, let your arms hang down with the palms facing in, push the chest out. Now drive your arms straight back and release. Straight back and release. Now, as they come back, there's a slight arcing motion. So try to pull your shoulder blades back in together. There's just a slight arc with your hands as you pull. Squeeze, release. All right, we're going back to that Y. So feet shoulder width apart, palms in, chest lifted, chin back, stand tall. Here we go. Lift up nice and high. Once again, keep the chin back, and I want you to push that range of motion just a little bit. As you draw your arms up, try to bring them back next to the ears. That's it. Strong posture, abs are in. Right through to the end here, rest. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Once again, we're gonna fold forward, palms hanging down, almost like you're holding bags. Chest pushed out, drive the shoulders back. Here we go. Now, as you pull, remember that slight arcing motion. I want you to imagine that you're pulling your shoulder blades back and together. So you should get that squeeze. Squeeze, that's it. Exhale on the pull, inhale on the release. Two, one, up to standing. Third set of Ys, feet shoulder width apart. Extend those arms out, chest lifted, chin tucked back, thumbs up. Let's go, pull. Now, of course, there can be a slight bend in your elbows here, but we want the arms relatively straight. 
they'll probably feel more straight than they look, if that makes sense. That's it. Pull. Pull. Really drive those shoulders back. You're pushing that range of motion. Lower it down. We're back to that bent over position. Feet shoulder width apart. Let the arms hang down. Push the chest out. Pull the shoulders back. Abs in. Here we go. Pull. Pull. We're really squeezing through those shoulders. Your lower back may start to fatigue slightly. Of course, when we're in a bent over position such as this, the lower back has to engage to keep the core tight. So you might find that the lower back is starting to get a little tired. Gently come up out of it. One more set of Ys. So if you do feel fatigue, you can also do those straight arm pullbacks from a standing position. Get ready, chest lifted, chin back. Here we go, last set of Ys. Exhale up, breathe through it. Once again, focus on strong posture. I really want you to work through the upper back and the back of the shoulder blade. Try to keep that chin in that neutral position so we're not jutting the head forward. You're almost there. Three, two, one. One more straight arm pullback. Once again, if your lower back is fatigued, do it from a standing position. Feet shoulder width apart, fold forward. Palms in, chest out. Here we go. Breathe through this. Now, once again, try to keep your core engaged. Try to pull your belly button in toward your spine and breathe through it, keeping your back flat with your chest pushed out and neck neutral. Exhale on the pull. Release. All right, grab a water break here. Catch a breather. We're going to go to our next round. So up next, we've got a cardio round. So we're going to be doing a high knee jog or alternating high knees. So two options here, low impact or high. For the higher impact version, you can do this as a high knee jog. For a lower impact version, a quick pace, adding the arms. Once again, I'm gonna keep it low impact. You can do whichever version you prefer. In between, once again, two options, high impact or low, in and out. So if you prefer high impact moves and hopping is okay, you can do this as an in and out hopper. And if you prefer low impact, nice and low with the in and outs. Let's do it. So starting our timer, 10 seconds to prepare. Once again, it's high knees jog or add the arms for a fast high knee alternating. Ready? Here we go. Breathe through it. Now with this round, keep in mind between your cardios that we have 10 seconds in between. So I want you to go as fast as you can for each of these moves because we've got that rest. You really want to utilize it as best as possible. Rest. All right, 10 seconds here. Let your heart rate recover. Squatting down. So you can do this as an in and out hopper or in, in, out, out. Ready? Let's go. So again, we want this move to be fairly quick. You can march it. You can toe tap it. Just stay low. You can add that hop. Whatever you like. Get that heart rate up. Add the arms. Breathe through it. Three, two, one. Recover for 10. We're gonna go back to that high knee. Once again, you can jog or add the arms. I'm starting left this time with the arms. Ready? Here we go. Again, I want you to push your pace a little faster than you would in a typical cardio class because we really wanna push it to, again, need that rest. That's it. Get that heart rate up. Let it climb. Three, two, one. Whew. We're going back to in and out. So once again, hoppers or in, in, out, out. Nice and low, shoulders back. Let's go. That's it. Add your arms. Stay in that squat. Try to keep your feet as fast as you can. Again, we want that heart rate up nice and high. Eight more seconds. Keep your pace. Don't slow down. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, we're going back to high knees. If you're adding the arms, I'm going right side lead this time. Arms up, chest lifted. Here we go, quick pace. Jog it or march it. But again, I really want you to push yourself. Let your heart rate climb. If you ask yourself how it feels out of 10, I want you to be at at least an eight. Five more seconds. Almost there. 
rest. Ooh, all right, we're going back to those in and outs. Again, we really want those fluctuations in heart rate. Semi squatting, hoppers, or in and outs. So let's do it. That's it. Breathe deeply. The goal here for each round is to exhaust the same muscle group. So we are doing two different moves, but we're always focused on that one muscle. This time, it's the heart. Rest. High knees. This time, I'm starting left leg. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Get ready with those arms up. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. Jog it or march it. Keep breathing. That's it. We've got one more in and out after this. Don't slow down. We've got that break in between. Two, one. Ooh, all right. One more in and out. So, once again, semi squatting position, pop it or march it. Get ready. Here we go. Breathe deeply. You can do this. Stay low, stay low. Don't come out of that squat. Push through this. Five more seconds, right to the end. Don't slow your pace. Two, one. Ooh. All right, let that heart come down a little bit. Grab some water, catch a breather. Up next, we're gonna do a leg shoulder combo. So in this move, we have a stationary lunge with a lateral raise. If you have light dumbbells at home, you could add them to your lateral raise. However, I'm still gonna be doing a body weight version. So let me show you this from the side. Right leg forward, left leg back. We're gonna sink down into a stationary lunge. And as we come up, we're gonna have our hands down. As we lower, we're gonna raise those arms in that lateral raise position. The lateral raise, upper arm parallel to the floor, keeping the shoulder blades back. Let's do it. Oh, in between, we've got squats with shoulder raises. So squat, shoulder, shoulder, up. All right, let's do it. So squatting, or sorry, lunging, lateral raise, right foot forward, left leg back. So we're gonna start upright, hands down, ready? Sink down and lift, sink down and lift. That's it. Breathing through it, chest lifted, shoulders back, nice and low. So you should feel your abdominals working here. Abs are in nice and tight, chest is lifted, rest. All right, squatting shoulder raises. So this time, the right arm is gonna come up to start. We want a nice wide stance, palms in, chest lifted, chin back, and shoulders down. So, squat, shoulder, shoulder, up. 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 That's it. Three more seconds. Almost there, rest. Ooh, all right, left leg forward in the lunge. Left leg, shoulders back, hands down. As we lunge, we're gonna raise the arms. Here we go, raise up, raise up, abs are in. You've got it. Breathing through. Abs are belly button to spine, chest lifted. Push through it, press through that front leg heel, rest. Ooh, okay, this time it's left arm lead on the squat. So again, we want that nice wide stance with the toes flared. Squat, left, right. Ready? Here we go. Squat, shoulder, shoulder, up. Squat, shoulder, shoulder, up. Nice and low here. Breathe deeply. That's it. Abs are in. Back is flat. Three, two, one. Come out of it. Ooh, all right, we're back to that lunge. So, right leg forward, left leg back, shoulders back, arms hanging down. Ready, here we go. Lift in that lateral raise. Keep the shoulders pulled back and together as you raise the arms up. Nice and low in that lunge. Breathing deeply. You're almost there. Rest. Ooh, back to the squat, wide stance. 
right side lead hands down chest lifted shoulders back here we go squat right left up squat right left up nice and low i know quads are getting tired but try to maintain form as best you can slow it down if you need to or semi squat as needed rest Whew. one more lunge left leg forward right leg back shoulders back arms hanging at your sides here we go raise the arms up raise the arms up that's it drop that back knee down breathe through this and once again you should be fatiguing that's the goal for this type of workout we're working similar muscle groups rest Ooh, all right one more squat feet wide left hand lead this time two one here we go squat shoulder shoulder up squat left right up that's it you can do it breathe through this five more seconds focus on form chest out back flat rest all right grab a water break here catch a breather let your heart rate come down a little bit up next we're going to take it to upper body so we've got a standing w pull breathing deeply and then we're going to take it into cactus so two w variations this is going to slow it down a little bit and let your heart rate come down some but that's probably a good thing if you need just a little bit of a break all right let's do this so feet shoulder width apart now we're gonna be fairly quick on those w's palms in chest lifted fast pace pull pull that's it i really want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades back and together and once again try to prevent that chin from coming forward you should really feel the backs of the shoulders and the chest opening up almost there rest 10 seconds here now cactus pose one of my favorite yoga moves we're going to start at 90 degrees with open palms and we're going to start with the chin tuck so let's tuck palms down pull w and pull back chin tuck down w pull back chin tuck down w and pull back in that cactus that's it three two one shake it out shoulders might start to feel a little fatigued through this round we're gonna go back to that fast w feet shoulder width apart engage the glute chest lifted chin back here we go pull pull that's it i really want you to focus on the upper back and the backs of the shoulder blades keep your core nice and tight try to squeeze your glutes don't forget about that lower body when a nice gentle knee bend really press those feet into the floor you're almost there rest Ooh, shake up the shoulders we're gonna go back to that cactus so shoulders back elbows up palms are open chin back ready start with the tuck tuck the chin in palms down lift pull back in the w open up chin down exhale pull open up back down exhale pull open up through those shoulders almost there three two one shake it out all right we're going to our third set of standing w's feet shoulder width apart again don't forget about those glutes you want to keep the glutes engaged and squeezed palms in chin back let's go fast pace and as i mentioned shoulders might start to get a little fatigued even though we are focusing on upper back through this round the shoulders are holding the arms in this position so you might start to feel like you really want to drop those shoulders down but try to keep the upper arm parallel to the floor almost there two one all right that's your rest let your shoulders drop down we've got another cactus coming up feet shoulder width apart palms at 90 chest lifted chin back start with the tuck here we go tuck and down pull and lift tuck and down pull and lift i know this round probably looked easy when i demoed it you're thinking oh these are two easy moves in a row however doing eight sets we're really fatiguing those upper back muscles 
rest. Once again, let the shoulders hang down here. We've got one more round of those standing Ws. Feet shoulder width apart, squeeze the glutes, palms in, open or close fist. Here we go, pull back, chest lifted. Now remember, we still want that fast pace, but I want you to prevent the neck from coming forward. The chin should stay parallel to the floor and try to tuck the back of your head slightly backward. You're almost there, I promise. I know the shoulders are getting tired now. Rest, Whew. All right, one more cactus. Feet shoulder width apart. So, palms open, chest lifted, chin back, elbows back, start with the tuck. Tuck in, pull and lift. Tuck in, pull and lift. This is a great move to do from a seated position at your desk. If you are off camera and waiting for a meeting to start and you have a little bit of space to work with and rest. It's a great way to open up that chest and really work those shoulders. All right, let your heart rate come down, grab some water here, catch a breather. We're gonna take it to our next round. So side lunges, we're gonna be, do some side to side movements here. So we're gonna start out this set with a right side lunge. Then, we're gonna take it into a shuffle squat, going three squats in each direction, and then we're going to left side lunge. So we're really focusing on the outsides of the glutes on this set. Let's do it. So give yourself a bit of room to move to the right, feet shoulder width apart, use your arms for balance. We're lunging right, here we go. Just the right leg here. Drive the hips back, push the chest out. Get a nice big stretch inside the thigh. You've got it. Press back up. Don't worry too much about the depth of your lunge. If you're feeling that stretch inside the thigh, that's the main thing, rest here. All right, we're gonna give ourselves some room. Three shuffle squats. Squatting down with the toes straight forward, chest out, arms in nice and tight to your sides. Here we go. Three, two, one, back to the left, three, two, one, to the right, three. Really press your heels into the floor. Left, three, two, one. Once more to the right and rest. All right, we're going left this time. Feet shoulder width apart. Give yourself a little bit of space to lunge left. Get ready, two, one, here we go. As you can see, this is why we need that 10 seconds in between. Little recovery. Not only for the heart rate, but also for the muscle group that we're focusing on per round. Breathe through it. Five more seconds here. You're almost there. Rest. All right, this time we're gonna start left. Once again, three squats. Feet, toes forward. Squat down. Elbows in nice and tight to the torso. Here we go. Three, press those heels into the floor. Two, one, other direction. Three. Stay low. Two, don't come out of that squat. One, three, two, one. Keep this going. Elbows are nice and tight. You're almost there. Two, one. Ooh, all right. Side lunge right. Give yourself a little bit of room. Feet shoulder width apart. Shoulders back. Chest lifted. Here we go. Side lunge. Propel yourself back up. Really open up through those hips by driving the glutes backwards. That's it. Chest is out, back is flat. Neck is neutral. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, we're going back to our squat. We're going right this time. Feet shoulder width apart. Semi-squatting, shoulders back. Here we go. Three, two, heels into the floor. One, switch directions, three, two, one, switch directions, three, two, one, toes forward, three, two, one, keep this up, three, two, rest. All right, one more side lunge to the left side, feet shoulder width apart, chest lifted, shoulders back, three, two, one, here we go. Propel all those hips back stretch through those adductors. Breathe deeply. You're almost there. Keep this up. 
Five seconds left on the lunge. Three, two, one. One more side squat, and we're going left this time. Once again, we want those toes straight forward throughout the set. Semi squatting, elbows in, shoulders back. Let's go. Sit nice and low. Three, two, one. Stay low here. Heels into the floor. Two, one. Again. Three, two, one. Stay low. Stay low. Three. Toes forward. Two, one, three, two. Rest. Whew. Okay, grab a water break here. Let that hurry come down. One more round. So, for our final round, once again, we're going to take it back to cardio, and we do want that pace to be fairly quick. So, we're going to do repeater knee, left leg facing right, fast feet, then repeater knee, other side. Let's do it. This one, I know we do lots of cardio <laughs> every week. So this one should be a fairly ish easy round for you. All right, left knee going right, fast pace. Here we go. That's it. I want that pace to be a little quicker than your typical cardio class pace. Again, we've got that break in between. Really use it. You're almost there. Five more seconds. And rest. 10 second break here. Fast feet, low impact or high. You can do this as like football feet or heel raises. Semi squatting. Get ready. Here we go. I always like to do the heel raise version. I find that a little easier on my feet. So I just keep my toes connected to the floor and really add that arm swing. That's it. A little bit less leg movement, but a little bit more upper body movement here. Stay low. Three, two, one. Repeater knee, so it's gonna be right leg, left side. Whew. All right, get ready. Arms up, three, two, one, here we go. Once again, I want you to push that pace just a little outside of that comfort zone for your cardio moves. Get up to an eight, eight and a half even. That's it. Ask yourself how you're feeling out of 10. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, 10 second break. We're going back to fast feet. Feet shoulder width apart, semi squatting, shoulders back. Ready? Let's go. Run it out. You've got it. Focus on that heart rate. Don't slow your pace. I want you to need that rest. You're almost there, you're almost there. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, Ooh. hurry should be nice and high. So we're facing right side, left knee. Catch your breath. Ready? Here we go. Repeat our knee. Quick pace here. That's it. We really want those fluctuations in heart rate when we do a Tabata style workout. Because you get that rest, you should actually need that rest. Rest here. Ooh, fast feet. Third set. Feet shoulder width apart. Semi squatting. Hands in that ready position. Let's go. Run it out. You've got it. Breathe deeply. Keep that pace up. You're almost there. You're almost there. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, Ooh. repeat on the other side. Now this is our last fast pace move. On our last fast feet, we're actually gonna march it out. Ready, let's do it. This is your last big push. Make it a good one. Get yourself out of that comfort zone. Almost there. That's it, five seconds to go. Remember that last move, we're just marching. Rest, whoo. All right, 10 seconds here, and then we're gonna march it out. Or we should be pretty elevated. Get ready, three, two, march it out. No, just because it's active rest, doesn't mean you shouldn't focus on posture. Lift your chest, chin back. The pace here is still a fairly quick march, but we're not bending as much in that squat. Three, 
two, one. Grab a water break here, catch a breather, and let your heart rate come down. We're gonna start to stretch it out. Ooh. So once again, heart rate should be pretty elevated. At this point, you wanna put your head below your heart. So stay elevated here, try not to sit down or anything. All right, let's stretch out hip flexors. Right leg back, left leg forward, hands on the hips, push the hip bones forward, pull your shoulders back, tuck your chin back. Stretch out that hip on the right side. When heart rate is nice and high, if you go into any kind of forward fold or sit down on your couch, it can lead to some dizziness. You do want to stay elevated with your head lifted and chest up. Make sure that you let your breathing return back to normal before you do any kind of forward bend. Lift up out of it, over to the other side, step back left, forward leg right, bend the knees, tilt the hips forward, pull the shoulders back, tuck the chin back, stretch out the hip flexor. Try to drive that back heel down into the floor. That's it. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Letting that heart rate come down as we stretch it out. And relax through those hips. From here, let's stretch out the chest, clasp your hands behind, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, and tuck your chin back. Just a soft knee bend here, just enough to allow you strong posture through that upper body. And once again, we don't want that chin coming forward, try to tuck it back ever so slightly. Deep breath in. And out. Once more, deep breath in and out. Let's stretch out those shoulders. Draw the right arm across, anchor it down with your left arm, pulling it in toward your chest. Now in this move, I find this is really easy, kind of like just hold it here, but I want you to take it up a notch. So from here, lift your chest, pull your shoulders back, pull your arm in a little tighter and tuck your chin back. That should really wake up that shoulder so that you really feel it a lot deeper in the shoulder compared to what you're doing if you're just holding the position. It should be a more active stretch or one that you have to think about a little bit more to really get a lot out of it. Deep breath in and out. Relax that shoulder down. Bring it across with the other side. Tuck the left arm in using the right arm. Lift your chest. Roll the shoulders back, tuck the chin back, and pull that arm in just slightly tighter. You've got this. Nice deep breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. And relax that arm down. From here, let's take it into a back bend. Take the heels of your palms, place them just on top of your butt cheek. Pull your elbows and shoulders back, and now lean back. Your chin will be slightly lifted toward the ceiling, following along with the rest of your spine. Now pull your belly button inward and open up that chest just a little bit more, looking about 45 degrees up toward the ceiling, about six feet in front of you. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. And exhale, gently lift up out of it. From here, just let your arms hang down at your sides. So just as though you're holding grocery bags on either side. And I want you to shrug your shoulders up, pull them up near the ears. Now, from that shrug position, roll them back behind you and now press them down and release. Pull them up nice and high, letting tension build. Roll them back, press them down. We're gonna speed that up a little bit here. Pull, roll, press down, release. Pull, roll, press them down, release. Once more, pull, roll, press them down, and release. Let's take a deep breath in, exhale, we're all done for today. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday and I'll see you next week. Have a good one, everybody.
ਵਧੀਆ